A very good morning to you. Welcome to the Friday edition of Sports this morning. Uh, this trip will take you on a lot, to a lot of places uh, across the world. I'm Yemi Adebayo. Welcome once again. In our world, we say thank God it's Friday and it's also a delight to have you join us to talk sports. I'm Austin Okonakban. Let's begin this show this way. Can we please have a moment of prayer for Super Eagles goalkeeper Kali Keme, who has just been diagnosed of acute leukemia. Let us pray for Carl to get well soon. Yeah, that's the prayer from us here and all sports-loving Nigerians that uh, Carl will surmount this huddle. It's a huge one, it's big, but hopefully he will be able to get past this and get back to playing football. Well, still talking Nigeria and staying in Nigeria, let's talk about the Nigeria Professional Football League. It's week 28. A lot of interesting matches to be played this weekend. We'll be talking about that uh, for you on the show. Just stay tuned. We'll be talking about big matches lined up. Rangers taking on 3SC. It just takes you way back into when the league was uh, the big team. This fixture mm. 40 years ago will probably be um, what everybody will come out for. It will be a national discourse here. I mean, I tell you, everybody will fall out for this one. And so uh, let's use this opportunity to tell the fans, come all out for this big one between uh, Shooting Stars and... Um Rangers. Rangers. Let's get on with the show now. Talk about what's going on at the Wimbledon Tennis Championship. The top guys, they are still on course. They're not blinking. They're not going anywhere. Victory is for Roger Federer. Hopefully, he's winning the right way now. Uh, opponents are not quitting. Uh, Novak Djokovic still powers on. And top seed, Angeli Keba. will continue to take a look at what's going down at the Wimbledon Tennis Championship. And, yeah, I mean, that's what it is. Still on course for these guys. Yeah. Uh, they still power on. Uh, it's expected. Yeah, expected. Um... Well, I mean, no big casualties um, for for the ladies. Mm. There, there, there is Karina Pliskova, thought it, she's out, um, and uh, Mladenovic uh, also. Christina Mladenovic also out. Third seed, twelfth seed, um, already out uh, mm. for for the ladies. Um, Dominic Tien got a scare uh, against Gil Simon, yeah. but lost the first set. Um, Five seven, but he was able to power through. He won the other six to uh, six four, six to six four. Uh, he was uh, able to uh, win uh, in that one. We'll be seeing these guys uh, in action today. Uh, some of the other uh, top guys, but for yesterday, you already uh, talked about it. Uh, Novak Djokovic uh, edged past uh, his um, opponent, that's um, Adam Pavlasek. Uh, he beat him. Uh, near flawless performance uh, in that one, six to six to six one from um, Novak Djokovic, and uh, he had Andre Agassi um, in his corner. Uh, I guess uh, it was um, very very good um, right. for him uh, in in that one. You also have a lot of other interesting fixtures. Roger Federer, uh, his opponent didn't um, pull out this one. <laughs> uh, defeated uh, Dusan Ladovic, mm -hmm. uh, the 7 year old Zebian, um, defeated, defeated him. And um, uh, it, it was um, good for uh, Roger and uh, Novak. You know, they are on the same side of uh, the draw, the same half. And so the guys on the other half mm. uh, will be once played today. We'll talk about them uh, much later. Yep. But for the guys, no surprise. It, they did the business um, as we expected, and um, they, they are powering on. So we'll see what happens um, today. Uh, like you said, Anneli Keba uh, sailed through. She defeated Kirsten uh, uh, Flickins, 7575. Mm -hmm. All the, all the, all the top seeds, apart from the ones that I've mentioned, Carolina Wozniacki, star, still there, Svetlana Kuznesnova, uh, yep. still there, and Neska Radwanska, still, um, still uh, in the competition. So, f for those ones, they're there, but for the uh, top uh, seeded ladies, uh, there. All right, so let let's quickly take a look at what's going to go down uh, today. We just picked out some selected fixtures mm -hmm. uh, in um, the round of 32 for you, the top seeds. Andy Murray uh, will take on Pablo for uh, uh, Fabio uh, for, for Nini. Um, Rafael Nadal uh, will uh, take on um, uh, his opponent, uh, Karen Kachinov. Uh, Marin Cilic, uh, seven seed, takes on Steve Johnson. Kei Nishikori mm. takes on Roberto Batista Agot. Aljas Bedin takes on Gilles Mola. And you have Joe Wilfred Songa. That guy is yet to impress me. Uh, the only thing I always remember about him is that he looks like Muhammad Ali. Uh, but it's yet to impress me with his tennis. Joe Wilfred Songa takes on Sam 
query of the United States. Uh, all of these matches will be played uh, today. Later in the evening, uh, we'll give you updates about that one. We'll mm. talk about the ladies. That's right. The, uh, uh, in this half, the highest ranked person uh, is Simona Halep, mm -hmm. uh, and she takes on Peng Shui. Remember uh, Peng Shui? So yeah. She doesn't have to look at her and say, oh, this is somebody mm -hmm. I can push her yeah. ar around. She has to be careful. Mm -hmm. uh, Elina Svitolina, Fotsi, takes on Karina Wichhoff. Uh, Britain's Joanna Conta takes on uh, Maria Zachary. You also have Jelena Ostapenko take on Camila Giorgi. Uh, Venus Williams with all, with all the issues that she's been going through of late from J Japan's Naomi Osaka. And Victoria Azarenka takes on Eta Watson. Yeah. Um, and the Murray leading the charge. Mm. You still have four uh, Britons uh, in that one. Yep. Uh, two on one side, two uh, on the ladies' side. We'll see how far uh, they can go. But a lot resting on Andy's um, shoulder. So we'll see what happens uh, t today. Andy looks good. Mm -hmm. Andy looks good. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's yet to win my heart, though. Well, the competition is just is just beginning mm -hmm. to you mm -hmm. know get interesting. So we need to still watch more of Andy Murray. When you get to the fourth round, then you start saying, okay, this person after has this bout, time. yeah. I mean, after this um, match, now it gets to that stage where you can't avoid the big boys anymore. <laughs> so you you have to really press. Yeah. Uh, if he beats like I if I expect him to beat for Nini, if he does that. It crosses to that stage where you get to the round of 16 and, you know, all those top guys that are in your half, mm. you know, you, you get to start meeting them. That there is the prospect or the possibility of a Nadal semi-final. Yeah. But, of course, he knows that Novak and Fedra, he can only meet any of those guys in the, in the final, final, because those guys will cancel themselves out. Yeah, uh, but I think it's getting interesting, and this is the time we need to start watching some of these guys. Uh, I see a potential banana skin in that match against Fabio Fognini, so he's got to be very, very careful for Kai Nishikori. About sister got is somebody that has been there, done that with his tennis. So Kai also needs to be very careful, play that one with everything that he's got. Also for the ladies, Simona Alep, uh, she needs to watch it. Mm -hmm. Peng Shui has got some good experience in the bag also, mm -hmm. and in the women's circuit that is filled with anything. Anything. Can happen you know she really needs to be careful um victoria has a ranker also because it will be good support for uh Hita, Hita watson so um from today we'll start seeing those those intense play we want to see that right. we want to talk okay. about so uh, that's the whole idea we wanted to get to that stage where we'll say now now is business all right mm. uh so let, let's take some reaction from uh the top guys when uh on day four of wonder day we'll listen to some of the top guys novak um, Angeli Keba and, and the other top guys uh, from the men's and, and the ladies uh, after their victories. And we'll come back for more. It's supposed to be money. It's perfect. I, I, it's ex exactly what I want. So I, I don't want to have any five set matches in the opening <laughs> round. So I had enough, enough uh, match play in Eastbourne and, uh, you know, I, I, felt, I felt very good today in, in terms of. You know my my game and where it was from the beginning to the end. So just uh, keep. And he's very uh, well known for his you know um, kind of bold comments and and not not really caring too much about being politically correct, but saying whatever he it's it is on his mind. And that's that's all I can say. I really don't don't take anything personal. I always got very uh, along very well with John. Um, uh, it's understandable in a way why Had uh, has reacted in this way because you know it's it's not the right message to get uh, to 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 to, uh, to send out there from um, you know one of one of the most talented players that has played a game in, in the last you know six seven years and someone that you know was a hero to many he's a hero to many children especially in Australia and and so. You know, everybody looking up to him and him making these comments. I understand that perspective. I also, I, I have to, you know, because I, I I'm on the tour. I play tennis. I understand the ups and downs that you experience as a player. I understand that the emotions that you go through. Well, early on, I was feeling nervous for some reason. Not sure why, uh, but uh, you know, was able to come back in the set, breaking at two love. I think was big for me. Um, and then I played a great breaker, and then I think from then on I never looked back and got early breaks in set two and three and was able to protect my serve 
uh, in a good way. He never really found ways to get into my service games on first and second serves, and that obviously relaxes you, and then you can go for more in the return. Yeah, I, I was, I couldn't find my rhythm at the f in the first few games, but then I was trying, you know, to move in good and playing the ball back, and um, it was for sure maybe not the best tennis that I played, but I was trying to fighting again for every point, and I think that was the key at the end.